Today I'll be telling you what to do when you have an emergency of hypoglycemia at home. Hypoglycemia as we all know is the blood sugar of less than 70 at home. Whenever there will be hypoglycemia, you may uh, notice that the patient will be having either drowsiness or seizures or he will be very very lethargic. So once you notice that patient is having blood sugar of 17, then you can apply the rule of 15. That means give the patient 15 grams of glucose and wait for 15 minutes just to see whether those symptoms have improved or not. Once after 15 minutes you still feel that blood sugars are low, again you have to rule, again you have to uh, apply this rule of 15 and give 15 grams of glucose to the patient. If blood sugars are still not increased, you have to rush to the hospital so that IV uh, dextrose or IV glucagon can be given to the patient. Today I will be telling you what is diabetic emergency. As we know diabetes depends upon the proper secretion of insulin from pancreas and in diabetes there is either low insulin that is in type 1 diabetes or insulin is proper but insulin is not used that is in type 2 diabetes. So diabetic emergency can be of two types hypoglycemia in which there is uh, uh, sugars are low because insulin production is high, maybe because of some medi medicines or maybe because of excess insulin, in which hypoglycemic symptoms like patient can become drowsy or patient can have seizures and other emergency in which there is less production of insulin leading to high blood sugars which is called hyperglycemia. So hyperglycemia can also cause two types of emergencies that is uh, diabetic ketoacidosis which is more common in type 1 diabetes in which there is ketone production, acid production or non-ketotic hyperosmolar coma in which blood sugars are very high to the tune of 500 blood ke but ketones are not positive in the body. Today I will be telling you how you can live healthy with diabetes. As we know diabetes is not a single disease but a plethora of multiple disorders. So to live healthy with diabetes you not only need to control your blood sugars that is fasting sugar should be less than 100 and postprandial sugar should be less than 40 but you need to take care of other things as well. You need to have your cholesterol levels in check, you need to have your blood pressure level in check. You need to have your heart regular examination so that your heart is healthy. You need to uh, regularly work out. You need to regularly walk. You should check your feet every day at night whether there are any blisters, whether there are any neuropathy, signs of neuropathy, where there is any numbness in the feet. You should get your periodic examination every six months in which uh, cholesterol levels, HbA1c levels, fasting and postprandial sugars, urine routine and renal function test and in case there is any discrepancy in these uh, tests you should consult your doctor at the earliest. <music>